Funding for Pierre Frenet's Cuisine Rapide is made possible by Caroline Importers Limited, Teaneck, New Jersey. Feed delicious desserts. I'm Pierre Fane. This is my grandson Nicola. And what are we gonna do today, Nicola? Um, we will crack the eggs. Uh, but, but before, what are we gonna do? We will we'll put water, sugar, and crack the eggs. Uh, and it's gonna be a chocolate mousse. Okay, you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay. So, what we need? We need eight ounces of chocolate, half a pound of butter cut in small pieces, six eggs separated, and some creme de Grand Marnier for flavoring, half a cup of sugar, and I'm gonna begin by separating eggs with my grandson. You and I, we're gonna crack the eggs, okay? Okay. You know how to do it? Yeah. All right, let's go. Crack the egg for me. This one, yes. Okay, go ahead. Now this one. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Very quick. All right, go ahead. Open it now. Okay. Okay, here I go. Watch. Open up. Okay. Hey, you got it. Very good. Okay. So you got your eggs separated, now I'm gonna do something else. Okay, put a shed over here. All right, now. I so, the egg. Okay, you did a good job, Nicola. Yeah. Now, what we need here, I have eight ounces of chocolate, four ounces of bittersweet, and four ounces of simmer sweet. To this, I got a bad marie right here, and I'm gonna add some butter. Okay. Okay, you see the butter? We're gonna mix that very well. And I'm gonna put eight eggs in there too. Yolks of eggs. And we're gonna bind this together, Mikela, until the butter is me melted, you see? We bind it well, we mix it. We don't want, if it's too hot, you want to mix it with me? All right, okay, you mix it, but try, it's hot. Okay, I'll give you a, wait a minute, Nicola. Just mix it with me, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. It's hot? Yeah. Lila, that's all right now, not too hot. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll give you something else. You mix it with a big one, look. Come, like Pippi, you see? You're gonna need a big one. Okay. Now, but don't touch this, okay? You turn with me. All right, see, we have to mix the butter. See, the butter's got to be melted, so we got to mix it more, all right? You like chocolate mousse, don't you? Huh? Yeah. Ah, okay. We're making chocolate mousse. Yeah, okay, we mix it well. You see, the butter is all melted, okay? A little more. Now, wait a minute, I want to take that out. Now, we're going to do something else, which you're going to help me to do, okay? We're gonna whip some egg whites together. All right, here's your whisk, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna move this here. We need some room, you know? We have to see what we're doing around here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna put the, the white, the egg whites right in here. I got six egg whites here, and I'm gonna start them. And I got half a cup of sugar which I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna start them with you. Okay, wait, watch me, okay? But no, not yet. You wanna do it? Okay. Look at that, that's fun, huh? Okay, look at that. <laughs> you like that? 
See, we have to meet Dave White. We have to keep Dave White in the bottom of the of the of the copper bowl. You see, I have a copper bowl, which is very clean, you know? And uh, I'm gonna add some little bit of sugar to this. Okay, a little bit at a time, see? Okay, go ahead. You want your whisk? Okay. Oh, boy, look at that. <laughs> you like it, huh? I tell you what, why don't you put a little more sugar in here? Yeah. You pick, okay, all right. A little bit at a time. Don't put everything in once, okay? Go ahead, put it on. Okay, that's it up. Oh, that's it up. Okay. All right, Nicola, you did a good job. You're going to make Pippi work harder, you know? Should be a little bit at a time, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not quite ready, see? Not quite, a little more. You want to check if it's ready? This is my whisk. Ah, well, okay. A little more, huh? Okay, so you got to whisk. What a team! Okay, I think we got enough now. But before I want to do something, uh, <laughs> I want to let, don't touch that, okay? I want to add two tablespoons of Grand Manier. Uh, you don't have to use it if you want, it's up to you, but just two tablespoons. I'm putting two tablespoons of cream de Grand Manier. All right, now we have to mix it, Nicola. Mix this together. Okay, what do we do? Like, like this? Mix it. Okay. Okay, good. A little more. Ah, okay. A little more. We got to, we got to mix it well. Okay? All the way. It's too hard. Okay, you're doing a good job. Okay, Pepe is going to finish it. Just a little bit. You want to give me your whisk? <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay. You miss. Okay, I got a big one right here. All right, you're right. Okay, what are we gonna do? Look, see now, put that right in here. You wanna put some too? Okay, you're gonna mix it for me. Start to mix it. Start to mix it for me, okay? <laughs> All right, okay, all this. Start to mix it, Pupepe, okay? Look at this. Huh? Look at this. Huh? You like this? You, <laughs> you want to taste it? Yeah. All right. Like Wait a minute, it's not finished now. I'll, I'll mix it, okay? You mix it. All right, and Pepe. See, I don't, wait a minute. I give you a spot. No, all right. We're going to mix it with this. Okay, we cannot do it. Okay, now. Good, look, see how nice it is? See? Look at that. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. You got to, oh, watch out, Nicola. We have to go easy, you know? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Look at that, it's going to be good, I tell you. We got to, we got to blend it well, you know, but slowly. You fold it in. Oh. All right, look at that, it's mixing good, you know? Hey, you make some chocolate mousse. You make some chocolate mousse, eh? Oh, boy, you think it's going to be good? Yeah. Why are you going to be tasted from me? I know, because your mommy makes chocolate mousse all the time. And we're going to see which one is better, your mommy or, her, or ours, you know? Because this is our chocolate mousse. We know we did it together. Yeah. All right? All right, now. It's mixed, okay? We're gonna put that uh -oh, in. Uh oh, oh, what happened? You got more? Oh, you don't wanna lick your fingers? Okay. All right. Okay. Now. All right, you wanna mix it too? Yeah, here's a big one. Okay. All right, look, we're gonna put that in the mold like this. Look, help me to put it in the mold, okay? 
Oh boy. Okay, wait. The baby has to take it out now, okay? Hold on. Is she so dripped? Oh, yeah? Oh, baby, you know. What happened here? Oh, we're going to clean that out. Don't wait. worry. Some drop. Some drop? <laughs> okay. Boy, this is very nice. Now we have to smooth the top a little bit like this, see? Okay. Okay, well, wait a minute now. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now, we have to clean it up. This has to be clean. I, I mean, this has to be cool off, okay? Uh, oh, you know, for a, for a while. Now, if you want to make it richer, you could add some whipped cream to it. It's not bad with it, too. But today it's got a low, I don't know, low calorie, but light chocolate mousse. Now, I have one here that uh, I made before which has been cool, oh, we and Nicola and I, we're going to decorate this. What I have here, it's an orange rind that I cook with sugar and some uh, rose petals, candy rose petals. So, Nicola, I want you to decorate this for me. You put them over, any way you want. See, you put some like this here, little strip like this, and what do you want to do? All right, you place them anywhere you want. You got two different kinds, you know? I did it. You did that, all right? All right. All right. All right. You think it's enough or you want some more? You like to put those in the center? Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah. I okay. Like to put okay, go ahead. All right, you want to put a few more? You have any, huh? some on, on your finger. Boy, you got to have clean finger all the time to work, huh? Again. Yeah, all right, so put some more here. Okay. Uh, you think it's enough? It's enough, huh? What do you think? Okay. It's enough? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm you want to test it? All right, here's your spoon. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, you take some, okay? Yeah. You put it in your mouth. Hey, you have to taste that. Pepe is gonna do. Look, like this, okay? You don't want to taste it? You got to. Go ahead. Put the whole thing in your mouth. You don't like that, okay? All right. Taste it. I'll taste this. This, you don't like that. All right, this is the, the orange. Test it, okay? Let's test some more. So, you like it? Yeah. You like it very much? Yeah. Okay, Nicola, you did very well. Okay, what you well, this is my mood chocolate recipe, and later on, I Can will I do some more dessert. Nicolas and Pepe's very own chocolate mousse. Now, back to Pierre for another classic dessert. Uh, while my grandson, Nicola, is sleeping, I'm going to make a crepe souffle for you. Uh, crepe souffle is something that's very unusual. Uh, many years ago, was when I was at a pavilion restaurant in New York, that was one of our main features for dessert. What it is, is a crepe, and all we do, we put a souffle batter, and uh, we put them on a platter, and we put them in the oven at a very hot uh, temperature, and it takes about only 10 minutes for them to come out, and we serve a sauce with it. So this is what I'm going to do, and this is what we're going to need to make them. Now, for the souffle mixture, we need four large eggs, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two cups of milk, half a cup of sugar, and for flavoring, I'm going to use two tablespoons of Grand Marnier. There's so many different kind of orange flavor liquor, you could use any one you want, but I prefer, this is the one I prefer. Now, we're going to need one tablespoon of grated orange rind, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's the souffle part. 
Now, I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter, which I write here. I got eight. I don't have. So, again, the same old thing, you know. This is four, and this is two. Put right in here. We want to make sure that the butter, we, ju we just want melted butter. We want the butter to melt only, you see. We don't want it too hot because it's going to burn the flour. So we just want to melt it. And I'm going to add the two tablespoons of flour to this, a tablespoon of cornstarch, We're going to bind this very well. And uh, add the milk. Now, we want to mix that very well. I'm going to put some more heat here. Now, to this, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. We want to reserve the other sugar which we have here for the egg white. Put that in here. We got to mix it well. We don't want any lumps. But, you know, if you have lumps, don't worry too much. You could always strain it. But it's an extra step and uh, really could be avoided very easily if you have the proper equipment and the proper whisk. Again, you know, always talk about whisk, buy a good whisk. This is whisk is good. You see, it bends back, you know, it bends back. If you have a whisk which stay crooked when you bend it, don't buy it. They are a little more expensive, but those whisks, they last for a long time. So before, see the, the, the mixture is already boil, almost boiling, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the yolks of eggs right here, keep it at a time. And this is where you have to whisk it very, very fast. This is why you got to have a good whisk. I'm going to put the, the, the rest of it. And I'm going to add some vanilla extract that we have here, a uh, little bit of it. about a quarter teaspoon, you put as much as you want. Again, buy good vanilla extra, this is a good one. See now, you're gonna see this mixture is gonna thicken right in front of your own eyes, very quickly. Now, after it's thickened, it's got some body to it. We have to make sure it's got to cool off. See, it's kind of liquid here. It's, kind of, it's not really that thick. Uh, but uh, when it cool off, it's going to thicken a little more. See, we don't want a, we want a very good souffle batter. We don't want concrete in the inside, you know? Some people put more flour in there. See, you could see it. Okay, that's done. Again, go all the way around it like this, this whisk. Very, very important. All right. Now, this got to cool off. And uh, I got some that's been cooling off right now. I'm going to use it later on. Now, the next thing is to beat the egg white. Uh, oh. Well, beat the egg white. You saw my grandson. He has a terrific technique. Uh, you know, speaking... Uh, I have uh, another daughter, and she's got five daughters. And the last one was born about two weeks ago. And I tell you, they love to watch Pepe cooking. When they come to my home, I go to their home. They're all around me on the table, and everybody's watching Pepe cooking. They call me Pepe. OK. The egg white. You know, a lot of people say, Pierre, are you crazy to beat the egg white with a whisk? 
I love it. You know, it's nothing like it. If you have a machine do it for you, it's take, take the phone out of it, you know? So the trick again is to keep the egg white in the bottom. All right, I got uh, some sugar here left over. I'm going to put a little bit at a time, like this. And uh, again, you know, I think I said that before, but believe me, if you beat the egg white in a copper bowl, you're going to have more volume. And if you have more volume, you know what's going to happen? you got to have a better souffle. It's going to go higher because you got more air into it, you know? It won't go to the moon, but it's going to be a good-looking souffle. Little details, you know? But details are very important in life, you know? I find out through my life. All right, we're going to finish this like this. And... Uh, If you tie with the right hand, you could use the left one. But I'm so used to do it, I don't ever change them. Look at it. We don't want the egg white over bidding, you see? We, oh, hey, watch out now, don't show off yet. I try to show off for my grandson. No, really, that's the way it should be. So, put that right in here. And that mixture which has been cool, a little bit, you know, not too hard. It's got to be cool. Look at that. That's what I call a pick. All right. Done. All right. Now we're going to mix this like this, eh? Again, you got to fold it in very, very carefully. Don't take a whisk and go like this, you know. You got to turn the ball like that, the opposite way, or the other way like this. But the folding is very important because we want the hair to stand here white. They don't want them, we don't want them to escape. So this is a technique that I use that everybody who knows how to cook use. This is no big deal, but detail is very important. Now, at the last minute, you put a little bit of ground on here, very little like this, about one to two tablespoons. They are unrhymed. Very important to put them in there. Fold uh, them like this. All right. Okay, now I'm going to make some crepe for you to play. I'm going to make six. One. Two. About six. Okay, that's enough. We're going to put some butter right in the center here like this. Right in the center, a little bit. Go ahead, you divide it. Could put in more. Okay. And uh, we fold them right over like this. I'm going to do one more carefully. You just put them, fold them right over, and you, like this, and you pick it up, put it right here, like this. You leave a little space in between for expansion. Okay, now we put some powdered sugar over like this. And we put that in the oven for 10 minutes. 
The other end got to be about 425 degrees. And 10 minutes after, should be ready. Now, while they're cooking, I'm going to explain that we're going to serve a sauce with this. What it is is a creme anglaise English custard sauce, which has been cooled off. It's made with eggs, yolks of egg, and milk, and sugar, and uh, some vanilla. And I have some ready here because we got to cool it off. So to this, I'm going to add, add some of my favorite li liqueur, Grand Marnier. I'm going to put about two tablespoons. We mix it well like this. And uh, that's ready to be served with the crepe. OK, now I think the time for uh, my crepe to be ready. That's right. 10 seconds, 10 minutes, I'm sorry, 10 minutes of cooking. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to show you one serving should be. I'm going to take this one right here. Very nice. Another one right here. OK. I'm going to put some sauce over, a little bit of sauce. And I'm going to sprinkle some sugar, butter sugar over, like this. OK. I'm going to put a little more sauce over there. Well, that's uh, my French dessert, the crepe souffle, which I love very much. And uh, my grandson, we thank you very much for watching and hope to see you very soon in Cuisine Rapide. Crepe souffle, another classic dessert from Pierre Frenet's Cuisine Rapide. Funding for Pierre Frenet's Cuisine Rapide has been made possible by Carillon Importers Limited, Teaneck, New Jersey. This is PBS. Pierre's quick and easy recipes from today's show, plus more than 250 others, are contained in this companion cookbook. 65 step-by-step -step line drawings guide you through Pierre's classic technique. To order this 384-page hardcover book, call 1-800-635-COOK. The cost is $22.50 plus $2 shipping and handling. Credit cards are accepted or send your check to P.O. Box 37142, Omaha, Nebraska, 68137.